Hey guys, Railroad Sniper here again after our uh, little break, a little over two weeks. Sorry for no videos, but you know, Christmas vacation. Anyways, I'm not a professional YouTuber or anything. Today's video is on the Craftsman um, see, model number CMMT12053LZ 10 piece metric crow's foot wrench set. Now, I believe when I bought these, I'm not sure if they were $50, but they're $60 now. Anyway, $59.98. So, they're definitely not cheap. However, they're one of the more uh, complete sets. This is no skips. Um, I believe they're made in uh, Taiwan. Let me look real quick. Make sure. I think they even say. Let's see if this one says. Uh, I'm not sure if these are made in Taiwan or China, but for some reason I was thinking these are Taiwan. Either way, they have their, um, you know, Craftsman's uh, lifetime warranty. Never had to use it. I don't know how good it is, but I've heard, I've heard some bad stories about it, but. Uh, mileage may vary, you know, depending on what store you go to. Anyways, so, once again, like I said, 10-piece no skips. You get all the way from 10 millimeter all the way up to 19. So, I'll show you them real quick. They come on this really nice uh, socket rail. Plastic socket rail, but it's a pretty high quality one. They got this uh, ribbing on the back to give it some strength. And you've also got a couple places where you can hang it up. You can hang it up on this end. Or on this end, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's go through the different sockets. Oh, they also slide. I forgot to mention that. Obviously you could repurpose that if you didn't want to keep them on the socket rail. So, here's the 10. As you can see, nice uh, roll stamped on. They've got the Craftsman name, size, and the uh, individual model of each Crowfoot wrench. They're a little thin, which is nice. I had to use these the other day when I was putting together my toolbox because none of my uh, box uh, or open end wrenches were uh, thin enough. I was thinking about buying some like cone wrenches or something, which, if you don't know, it's like really thin wrench for like lock nuts or stuff like that. Or some people use them on bikes, but um, this did the job, so it saved me some money. Another use for these is. Um, if you need to get a, if you need to get more torque on something, but you can't fit a wrench in there, but you can fit like an extension on ratchet within there. Show you how these work. Just go on your standard 3/8 drive ratchet. These are 3/8 drive, and of course, uh, as you can see, if you can't get a socket on it, but you can get this in there. Or if it's a tight space where you can't fit a full wrench in there, this on extension will allow you to do that. So up next, here's the 11, 11 millimeter. Oops, sorry. The 12. Now pick up the socket where I dropped. The 13. After this, I'll tell you all the individual model numbers. That's the 14. Here's the 15. This one actually came in handy for me. I was um, working on my friend's 1998 uh, Silverado, changing the shocks out, and that nut on top of the shock tower. I think you would have normally had to use like a uh, an offset box wrench, you know. I didn't have any at the time. These were did the job pretty well. Um, here's a 17. And. 18. And finally, biggest one of them all, 
the 19. In a way. Let's get to the model number. So, the 19 is model number 43641. The 18 is 43639. The uh, six, 17 is 43638. 16 is 43637. 15 is 43636, I believe that is. Yes, I believe that's a sixth. Got a bit small. Uh, 43635 is the 14 millimeter. 4, 3, 6, 3, 4. The 13 is 4, 3, 6, 3, 3. 11 is 4, 3, 6, 3, 2. And the 10 is 4, 3, 6, 3, 1. So pretty uh, sequential, you know. I think that 19 was a little bit off, but other than that. Um, these are made from chrome vanadium steel. See if there's anything else I can think of where you might that might be relevant. Um, let's see. Let's go over some of the other options and like uh, in the crowfoot range and why I picked this one real quick. So let's look at the Tekton one, which uh, at the time I bought at Meyer. And these are made in, uh, I can't even find them anymore, I don't think. I wonder if they don't sell them anymore. Oh no, this is it. Yeah, they, they still sell it, okay. I see the SAE version. Now, anyway, the Tekton ones were about twenty something dollars at Meyer when I got them. Um, of course, you can buy them online as well, being Tekton, or at uh, I think they sell them at Roll King as well. But the quality on them was just awful, and they skip sizes, like, like I mean, of course you pay less, but I think the quality jump to the Craftsman's was was definitely worth it on these. Wish I had them still so I could show them to you, but I returned them. <laughs> Um, also, Pittsburgh sells some, uh, crow's foot wrenches at Harbor Freight, um, they're also a lot cheaper. From the pictures, they look pretty good, honestly. Of course, they're going to be made in China, I believe. Let's make sure. I don't know. Can't really tell from the product page, but I would assume they're made in China, you know. They're $13 for a 7-piece set. You get 10, 12, 13... Oh, no, yeah, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, and 19. So you do skip a few sizes. You don't get the 11, you don't get the uh, 16 or the 18. And like I said, I've used the 16, so that <laughs> wouldn't work for me. But um, that might be a good set, you know. I'm sure it's all right. And plus you get the Harbor Freight warranty. If you go to the Icon brand, however, oh wait, no, that's not right. Never mind. Still ten piece. The Icon brand is um, no skips. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. And it comes in a little tray to put in your toolbox. You know, it's um, let's see, yeah, fifty-five dollars. So it's a little cheaper. Looks pretty similar though, honestly. I'll show you on my camera real quick. So they'll show up. Those are the icons. Here's the craftsman. Honestly, the craftsman. Uh, you might be better off going with the uh, icon on these. However, one thing about the icons. Is that I don't know if they're as thin as these, which, like I said, that's coming handy for me. 
They still do have the offset drive in though, so that's pretty cool. And like a, uh, another big benefit of Harbor Freight with Icon brand is that you get the Harbor Freight warranty, you just bring it in, get a new one. Which I'm sure is a lot uh, more hassle free than Lowe's warranty on Craftsman. Anyways, I don't know of much more to go over on this, so I'm going to stop the video here. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.